Zadea, what do you think about my marble shrimp? Can I eat it? <laughs> eat it? Yeah. Zadea. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Uh, it's GoPro time. Uh, it's, ra it's so rainy I had to bring the cheap camera today. <laughs> but look how beautiful it is. It's actually a lot darker than it looks in the GoPro. Uh, it's almost, it's, it's after six. Our best, our favorite nighttime dive is like 6.30 at least, maybe a little later. So we're just waiting for it to get a little bit darker. Then we'll go check out the site. Yeah, we're at uh, Wild Reef once again. We haven't been here for a couple of weeks, so yeah. excited for it, but it's raining. Last couple of dives when it's raining, it's nothing so good. Yeah, I don't know if there's yeah. a correlation though. Yeah, I don't know. Because we've been going during the day, just, you know, this site sucks during the day as well, and it's awesome at night. Yeah. And we miss it. So, yeah, we'll see. I, I just want to take a relaxing day because sometimes I get so, you know how we talk all the time. We know I get so like uh, stressed about another video, another video, another video, and I forget like we have an awesome d life. You know I what know. I mean? I was like, bro, almost didn't do a dive today, but I said, no man, we live here, we gotta dive, no skipping. I told him Definitely. I need a day off. He's like, nope, that's cool. I'll pick <laughs> you up later. I was like, all right. <laughs> So I'm so glad we're out here, not not at home editing. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a good life. So uh, if you guys, I watched a movie today. If you guys, if you're dying and you had six months to live, what would you be doing? I want you to answer that in the comments because I honestly can't think of anything different that I'd be doing. Diving, diving, the life, like what? Just the freedom, you know. So anyways, enough of that stuff. This is a nudie spot, right? CRC, hopefully. I want to see a CRC. It's been a while. Yeah, we got a friend with us. Maybe we'll find something. I think we're going to go far that way today, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there's there's the boat. It's OK. There's a lot of fake uh, corals right there or whatever. I want to go down there and see if those. I mean, we've seen some insane stuff. Isn't this where we found all those? Uh, marble shrimp lately? Yeah. Or was that melt? Yeah, that was in uh, very in shallow yeah. between the coral. Yeah, it's super hard to film, coral. but we saw a ton. Yeah. So that might be a goal for today. Sure. Almost guaranteed to see it, but really hard to film because they're so hiding. Anyways, I hope you guys like this episode. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to Finn. He's like my underwater camera mentor. <laughs> <laughs> so. See you guys later. Underwater. Oh, and by the way, I hope it's not too dark. I got the snoot. This is only my second dive, night dive with the snoot. And I was super happy the other night dive with the videos. And you guys liked it too. So I'm going to try to find some new species that I haven't filmed yet. But practice with the snoot. All right, now let's go. Well, you can never go wrong with the marine flatworm on a dive. And this is a new species that I've never filmed before. Although, I'll be honest, most of these flatworms kind of look the same. And I'm not sure if they're individual species or they're the same species with different coloration. This one looks kind of similar to other ones, but completely different with its pattern. So, I'm not really sure. In my nudie break and sea slug book, this guy is not in there. What I need is a specific marine flatworm identification book, and I don't have that here with me yet, so all I can say is this is an awesome addition to Project Nudie, and I'm glad I got to find this at the very beginning of the dive. So measurement wise, this guy was probably about two inches long, and maybe half an inch wide, and he was just crawling around in the sand. This guy was really near to him, but instead of the sand, he was crawling on top of a, a hard coral which was sticking up out of the sand. I actually saw a lot of these purple and yellow ones tonight, and I have no idea why. I've been at this dive site quite a few times, and i never seen them before. So this is a little tiny crab hiding inside of a pulsing zelia. And for some reason, I have no idea why, in every pulsing zelia we looked in tonight, there was another crab hiding that looked just like this. It's really strange that I've never seen them before and all of a sudden they're here. 
And out in the dark, I see some movement, and I turned on my light, and there was a whole school of these big eel catfish. Now, I see eel catfish on every single dive I've ever done, but these ones were huge. The next little critter I saw was the biggest critter of the night, a flamboyant cuttlefish. And if this is the biggest critter of the night, you know that I was hunting some small stuff. Because this cuttlefish was probably only uh, about 6 or 7 inches long, and not big at all. His whole body was probably the size of a baseball. You know I love myself some flamboyant cuttlefish, and this guy was awesome, really cooperative. And I've never seen it on this dive site, so I'm glad I got to check him out tonight. Although I wasn't going to spend a ton of time with him because I've seen a lot of these guys lately on other sites, I'm never going to pass him up either. So check this out. I'm going to pause it right there. What do you see? Here on the right is a Donald Duck shrimp, and on the left is a marble shrimp. And I got confused. I really wanted to film both of them, and I'd never seen them together like this before. So I was like, oh, this one, no, this one. And finally, I just started following the Donald Duck shrimp for whatever reason. I figured he was the easiest option. Anyways, Donald Duck shrimp, also known as Long Nose Rock Shrimp, but that's not a cool name, so we're sticking to Donald Duck shrimp, is an awesome species, and I see it quite often, but he was on top of my bucket list when I first arrived in the Philippines, and it took me a long time to find my first one. Here, when he turns to the side, you can see why he's called the Donald Duck Shrimp with his long beak-like nose. And actually, the official name is Rostrum. But if you look really closely, you can see some really skinny, really long purple legs. And I don't know if you can even see them in the shot, but they're hilarious looking. So these guys like the little rubble and junk that are on some of the dive sites. And when I mean junk, I mean like broken corals, rubble, rocks, a bunch of loose stuff, maybe some soft coral thrown in here and there, just tons and tons of hiding spots. And as it turns out, they share that love of hiding spots with the marble shrimp. So this isn't the greatest shot. I was actually having a hard time following this guy around who is on the constant move. And having my spotlight pinpointed right on the right spot that's the only bad part about having the snoot is you have to aim it at the exact right spot and also aim your camera at the exact right spot and focus so yeah when this guy moved he would just move out of my spotlight and i wouldn't know what way he went and so it's not the greatest footage i've ever done but at least i get to show you a new species that maybe some of you didn't even know existed which is the whole point of the channel, is just showing critters to the world that just need more attention. And then, look at this shot. On the left is another species of marble shrimp, and on the right is the fattest Donald Duck shrimp I've ever seen. Like I said, these guys must love the same hideouts because everywhere I look, they were together. So now I'm trying to film the marble shrimp, but then I'm like, well, I need to film the Donald Duck shrimp because I didn't even know they got that big. This big mama was probably four inches long, and I'd never seen them that big at, at all. And my guess is this is pregnant. I mean, I have no way to tell. I didn't ask him. But like I said, this thing is huge. Compared to the shot that you seen before, the other one, this guy was probably triple the size. And the funny thing is, they're all in the same, probably, one square meter area. So, again, I'm having a hard time catching this guy in the right spot with the light. But, he's also hiding in and out of areas and hard to film. And then here's the marble shrimp. Finally, I'm starting to pay attention to these guys. But, they have so many hiding spots, it's hard to get the right angle on them without scaring them away. So these shots are from the top, not from the right spot or angle, but it's still, you can see how cool they are. They have awesome, amazing patterns on their sides and they have like really furry hair looking things coming out of all areas. <laughs> They're really cute when you can see them fully. So if you guys haven't seen this before, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I've, I have caught him once or twice in another episode or two. So maybe those were better shots, but at least today I got to spend a little bit of time with one of my favorite shrimp species. 
All right, guys, I'm editing this video, and for every video, I have to search in one of our science books, species ID books for the tropical uh, Indo-Pacific. And right now, we're talking about the marble shrimp, right? Well, when we first got here, the marble shrimp was really on top of my to-do list to film uh, because of this. It's on the cover. Can you see that? The marble shrimp is on the cover. So today, this marble shrimp that we filmed is called the complex marble shrimp. And you guys, look at this. There are lots and lots of different marble shrimp in the book. Just tons of different species. Common marble shrimp, pine cone marble shrimp, coral marble shrimp. It's insane. So I know I'm really nerding out right now, but I want you to look at this. It's called the purple-legged marble shrimp, apparently. And why am I showing you this? Well, it's one of the coolest species in this book for marble shrimp out of all those that I've that I've filmed so far. And I didn't think it was here. I've never seen it. It must be super rare. Uh, but then about two weeks ago, I saw it. It looks, I mean, look at this thing. It looks like a white little arrow, super recognizable. And I was like, there, it is here. You know, I wasn't able to film it. I only had seconds, but I recognized it and then it was gone. So that's my new goal. I want to film this awesome looking purple legged marble shrimp. Looks like a white arrow. I don't even know why it's called a marble shrimp, but anyways, just thought I would throw that out there at the end of this video. Uh, I'm done editing for the day. It's super hot. It's time to go film some more. <laughs> 